In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create Uber Eats in less than 15 minutes starting right now. Before we begin, if you're interested in creating side hustles or creating businesses with no code, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video and this channel. I have two different platforms that I would suggest and one is super easy and you can have it set up in less than 10 minutes. Now, I wanna make sure that I review both options as an overview before the rest of the video so I don't wanna waste your time. So the two options I'm gonna be talking about is number one, on WhatsApp, that's a platform so you can create really simple websites devoted on ordering. You can build out Uber Eats using that. Now, the stipulations are it's a website and it, the payment processing, it's prompting you to pay through WhatsApp. Now, the pros is a lot of times people are using WhatsApp and instead of downloading another app or teaching them about this app and the behavior patterns, it just automatically cues you to order or pay in WhatsApp and you're good to go. The other option is Adalo and you can create your own Uber Eats in Adalo, but there is a slight learning curve to using Adalo. It takes more time and it's more expensive because you're paying for the platform of Adalo, you're paying for you know your developer account, all of those different things to make sure you have that available. And it is a learning curve. I'm gonna show you the basics of how you would use the template today. But if you're just getting started, on WhatsApp is a lot easier. It takes you less than 15 minutes to set up and you can start selling right away. With Adalo, you're gonna to have to think about a lot of other things, the logistics, but if you're trying to have a more brand awareness or you want an app devoted to your own brand, that's the option as well. So that's the overview of those two options. There's gonna be links down below. The rest of the video, if you're interested in, I'm gonna show you a walkthrough of using on WhatsApp and Adalo. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, to begin, you can get this by typing in get.onwhats.app. All right, so if that's confusing, there's gonna be a link down below. And also there is an owl, a lifetime deal for on AppSumo for this as well. It's 12 bucks. I mean, come on guys. Now, what is the benefits of using a platform like this? Well, again, you can very easily create a website where they're going to automatically buy from you, right? You can have categories, all of those things set up, and then easily when they check out, it goes right to WhatsApp for them to pay you, either with Venmo, Cash App, whatever it is, you can add those links. So how do we begin? What you're gonna do is when you log in, you're going to be taken to the setting, the business settings. You're going to fill out all of your information, your brand name, description, all of those good things. And then it says payment instructions. Right here, you can type in your link for your Venmo account. You can put in your QR links, or you can just say, hey, pay me in cash when I deliver your food. Whatever you want, you can have all of these instructions. Also here, it says receive order in. I put WhatsApp, but it also has text message, but I say WhatsApp. I give all my details of the type of business I, I have, but also what I like about this is allows you to have discounts and allows it, it says, how do you want to accept your order? Delivery, self pickup. So remember, depending on your kind of business, you can have all of those set up. And the order settings, you can have a minimum order for delivery. You can have minimum order for free delivery. All of those things set up for you really easily. Then on the right hand side at the top, you can choose your theme. Now again, this isn't gonna blow you away with all of these options. It's meant for you to get orders and to convert quickly. So you get to pick a default option where at the top, if you have a lot of categories, it allows you to scroll quickly through different categories if you're like selling beverages and then food and all those things. Or you can just have something really simple where they can just add it to cart. Now, after you have it, uh, oh, before we show you what it looks like, then you can have your categories over here. You can create categories. I just said basic subs, pizza, all of those things. And I can toggle, toggle it on and off for is it active. The next thing is you look at the products. 
You can add products right here. You can upload the pictures, yada, yada, yada. You have all of these things. Now, make sure what you do after you do this, I did this as a mistake, don't forget to save it at the bottom. Even though you add it right here, you say active, if you leave the page, you gotta save it. Seems so simple, but you know, I jacked this up the first time. So you save it. Now, after you do that, let's, I'm gonna just change the theme real quick. I had it on theme three. Let me just change it to default. All right, so I chose default right there. Then I can preview it right here. And again, it takes me to my site right here. Bam, it allows me to, it, it shows if I'm open. It also allow, it shows my uh, office location. I can search the item right here and I can go into categories. Now I'm in desktop, but again, this, the uh, different categories will change if I'm in mobile view. And then again, it's gonna be just like it's on my phone. I can change out based on that, right? Right there, it's taking me, I said pizza, it's taking me right there, oh, we're good to go. Now also too, after you complete that, it's gonna take you, do you want delivery or pickup? So I'm gonna just add an item, add one. Okay, it's added to my cart. Do I wanna do delivery or pickup? I can say my name, contact information, because it's gonna be pickup any special instructions, hey, I'm going to be parked at this location or across the street, whatever. And then you say order on WhatsApp. Right there, it automatically sends a message to your WhatsApp account and it prompts you to finish the ordering process because it says, hey, you just ordered this. Is that great? Is that right? Awesome. Now, here's the option, payment options. Now again, it can, depending on what you choose, in this section, it will prompt them to go follow, go you know on Venmo, you know pay me here, do this, Cash App, whatever. Super easy. Now the reason I like this so much better than trying to create necessarily a native app or a chat bot right off the bat, this allows you to validate your ideas, validate whatever you're trying to do. Even if you're a mom and pop shop and you're just you know you've had established work, maybe you need more info oh, you need to have more instructions or the logistics of you pivoting and using ordering like this if you create a native app there's going to be editing or if you're trying to do it yourself it's going to be a lot of headache versus this is a very simple way to get started and for you to again get paid for your services or your products so we just went over on whatsapp and how to use that platform now we're gonna shift over and talk about Adalo. Now, I've talked about Adalo in a couple other videos, and there'll be links down below, but what we're gonna focus on today is how you can create Uber Eats using Adalo. So, let's begin. All right, so here we are at Adalo. You're gonna to have to log in, sign up, all of those good things. Let's log in right here. And also what I love about this platform is it allows you to have templates, right? So I'm not gonna build this from scratch. I'm going to be looking for something that works for me. And if I'm trying to think about what I should be using, if I go to the showcase section, there is a templates tab. I'm gonna click that. And this allows me to see different types of businesses. The one that I would use is the restaurant one because that allows you, again, to emulate all the things you need to do. Um, again, have your delivery, have the type of um, menu that I want because it's a restaurant. All of those things can be done right here. Now, when I'm in this account, I'm going to log in. Okay, and now it's gonna prompt me, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna create a native app or a desktop web app? I'm gonna say native, I'm gonna say next. And right here, it's saying, what kind of template do I want? I'm gonna say ordering. Next, I'm gonna say uh, the app's name is gonna be Docs Barbecue. Okay, create. All right, so I'm in my account. It's processing these last little bits. It's probably gonna give me some onboarding. See, get started, which is great. They actually have some really good videos. And as you can see right here, they already built out the process for the app, right? So. I have the front page, the splash page, the sign up, logins, all of those things, the food truck, which can obviously be any kind of uh, business or delivery, but 
uh, I have all of this confirmation ordering, all of those things, right? So I can easily go to each page, edit it out, or you know, change it, whatever I want to do, and we'll be good to go. Now, also, if I'm if I'm making sure I'm doing everything correctly, I can always click the preview button, and it's going to emulate what my app's going to look like. Right? I can say, okay, sign up. Okay, log in, sign up, all of those things, right? Or you have an account. I can do all of those things. So it walks me through. Now, this it, they've done a lot of the work for you, but it's important to understand the workflow and the different components that Adalo lets you have so you can make sure you don't screw everything up after they just built this for you. So right here, these components, it allows you to have different components I can just drop in like a drag and dropper for a website, text, buttons, simple lists, all of these things. But also uh, down below, it allows me to see my screens, my branding, and databases. Now this is the components where you're getting all of the user information and how the databases talk to one another, like the relationship with all the different databases. All of those things are right there for me to understand. And then analytics, right? So all of these components, they're right here for you, right here. But it's really important just because it just made this whole uh, you know, app for you, for you to understand it. And that's where it goes back into watching the videos, understanding how the databases work. So when you change things, if you need to change things, you'll understand what's happening. Also too, if you're looking at the workflow here, it actually is showing you what's happening. There's arrows, there's different things right there. So those are components. But the basics of creating an app, just like Uber Eats, where people can can buy things from you. You can now render the food, go there, get their orders, all those things. Adalo has everything right there for you. I didn't do anything with the screens. It made all of the things for you. And if I need to change out the branding, all of those things, there you go. Now, if you want more advanced features or different things that you need in your own app, there's also the marketplace. So this allows you to have more components or things added into your app that will be better. Like say for instance, Stripe payments, Stripe uh, subscriptions, all of these things, you can drop it right in. These components can be dropped in right into your app. So again, it didn't take that long to create this app, but to fine tune it, to make sure everything is the way you want it, you got it right here. But again, for me personally, when I'm learning how to use different types of no-code apps, I rather use templates, have them build it the right way because I know that it, it's not gonna break unless I jack it up, but it's already the, the workflow's already done for me. And now I just have to edit and understand what's going on. So right there, I mean, do we have a timer somewhere around here? That took less than a, like five minutes to log into Adalo and then you have your app set up for this food truck, which can work in the same exact way as Uber Eats. All right, so we just reviewed two different ways of doing this. We looked at how to use on WhatsApp and how to use Adalo, how to create Uber Eats super fast. Now, I want you to consider for you, what do you need? Are you just proving the concept? If I was just proving the concept, I would use on WhatsApp instead of Adalo. If I already have a business, I wanna have a branded experience, I want to do this for my own business or scale out and do this for other businesses, okay, Adalo might be the option for you if you want this to be a more branded experience and more in depth and have more options. But what I want you to really think about is what can you do quickly to validate, to make sure that this is something that can be sustainable. A lot of times people will pick Adalo or other platforms and then they get so overwhelmed they just don't even start when they could have picked something like on WhatsApp, even see if anyone wants your food. And if they do, I, I'm sure your food is great. I'm not saying that, but you, you know what I'm saying? You have to validate it before you go to 100, right? Afterwards, if you want to do version two, I would say using Adalo or something like that. It's a great app. So let me know in the comment section below, where are you in your business? Where are you starting? And let me know. Also too, I'd like to point out that using something like on WhatsApp, they're a very new company. So you can talk to them about reselling, white labeling, agency. They're all, they're all 
thinking about that for the future. So talk to them now because that's a great opportunity because guess what? You could create your own SWAS if you wanted to with on WhatsApp. The reason behind that is you can automatically talk to mom and pop shops, say that you already have an app that you or a platform that they can take orders. It works with WhatsApp, all those things. You can always charge them monthly for maintenance or again, you can have it uh, branded for them. You maintain it, you do all those things. And so you're paying, they're paying you monthly for maintenance and retainer. Also, you can teach them about marketing and upcharge them again with, um, you know, marketing, uh, marketing workshops or anything that you want to do on top of giving them that platform for their business as well. There's so many different opportunities, so many different ways to crush it. So let me know in the comment section what you're thinking. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of content. Let me know what you wanna see next, and I'll talk to you in the next video.